Y'all, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we gotta talk about Megan the Stallion. I'm talking about her journey as an artist, why she will continue to blow up, and how in general artists should look at the stages of their career, especially if they're independent and wanna grow. So let's hop into it. All right, now when I first discovered Megan the Stallion, it was in November of 2017, not soon after she dropped her Stally Freestyle. Wait, you know your bitch is not fucking with Megan. Your nigga not even fucking you naked. He wanna keep it like lock it and kid. I tell him to bring me my money, then beat it. When I first heard that thing, I was like, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Play that back? As a matter of fact, I played it back four or five times throughout the song before I even finished it once. Not only was it hard, but you really get the entire impact of her brand in a nutshell. But I'm not gonna describe it myself, I'm gonna let her describe it. Back in 2017, she told Houstonia Magazine, I'm so outgoing and I'm so cocky and confident in my music because I want other people to feel that way when they're listening to me. I know a lot of people are gonna think first sexy and sex appeal when they think about her brand, and that is a part of it, but when you really drive deeper than that, that, that quote is truly her brand in a nutshell. But we're gonna get into all that a little bit later. Let's take it back and talk about the first time that she blew up. Right now, the first time I, I found out about you was through like a cypher. Mm-hmm, that he's did, been cypher. Did you, did you have a buzz um, before then or was that So like, like what it was was like, I used to just post like hella pictures on Instagram and I was like pretty popping at PV, that's the school I went to. And like one day I was just like with all my homies and we was like freestyling and stuff. Well, all the boys was freestyling. And I was like, well, I could rap. And ain't nobody believe me. So then I started rapping and everybody was like, oh, she, she what, you really can not rap? So my homegirl was like, Megan, we gotta like put a freestyle of you on YouTube. And so then uh, I did that. And then like a lot of people on campus just knew I was rapping. So then after that, I was like, well, shit, fuck it. I'm Mama, I can rap. Right, she ain't so, believe you. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Megan Thee Stallion is from Texas. And that time, she was going to Prairie View A&M University. So when she was talking about it blowing up around school, that was that first stage of just getting bubbled where you have multiple people starting to know and recognize you. That's just stage one of blowing up. But let's hop into the second time she blew up. Now, throughout 2016, she dropped a couple of videos. One was a remix of Genuine's Pony, and another one was a remix of Ludacris's Fantasy. But in between that, what really made her blow up a second time and get her to the next level was her freestyle in the Houston Cypher. It was all dudes, it was a lot of dudes, I don't even know how many, 10 plus dudes, and she was the only girl, and a lot of people thought she killed it. Now this gave her a little bit more foundation as far as being on the map, but then you really, really, really see her boost to the next level was the Stally freestyle that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. This wasn't until 2017, about a year away from when all that stuff happened, those videos dropped. Now what special happened between this time? First, let's start to go back. She blows up at school, she starts to get a name for herself, she starts to take it to a next level, especially when she hits the Houston Cypher. But throughout all this time, I mentioned she did a remix to Ludacris' Fantasy, she did a remix to Genuine's Pony, and she's solidifying that brand of this sexy, raunchy type rapper. But at the same time, she's just rapping on other people's stuff. She doesn't necessarily have a full team at the time, but she's building awareness for herself and her brand. And it wasn't until the next year and all this stuff started building and making that initial grind happen that she really started to have a true management team, a true, more organized situation to execute. Another thing she told the Houstonia Magazine back in that September 9th interview in 2017 was back then, I really didn't have a set producer. I just picked beats I liked and would just get over them. But definitely with this new project, I have a management team now and everyone's been more involved and I have a producer on my team now. So this project is definitely working with a producer. She's telling you that her situation is a little bit more organized and official to execute two months before the Styly Freestyle drops and it's no surprise that in comparison, things are just on the next level. Not is she only delivering my by far favorite but piece of music from her but also the video the way it's shot it's simple straightforward but it's impactful the way that rollout happened i discovered it days after it dropped and before then it's not like the internet knew i liked her because i never even checked for her before never knew who she was point is especially if you're going the independent route you're not going to blow up just one big time and that's it from there 
you're going to blow up in levels. She blew up at her school. That got her on another level. Then she used that momentum. She blew up another time. That got her to another level. And then again and again, that situation is going to repeat itself. It's walking one step at a time. And then every once in a while, you'll hop up like five steps. This is how artists should think about the stages in their career. But more importantly, back to Megan Thee Stallion, why she's going to continue to blow up is because she has this set foundation at this time. Not only has she been grinding, doing her thing for a minute, her stuff is dope. She also now has a more official situation and with this foundation in place of fans she's been building out throughout this time and such a strong brand. She's positioned to do major damage so I wouldn't be surprised if sometime in late 2018, probably 2019, she comes up with something that hits real hard that gets her on a whole nother level in the same way the style freestyle is. All it takes is one piece of strong content. When you look at every single moment that she had, just the little freestyle video around school, one piece of content took him to the next level. Houston Cypher took her to another level. Stally Freestyle, when I first saw it, that thing probably had about 50,000 views and it hasn't just blown up out of nowhere. Almost a year later, the song only has a million point something views, so it's been pretty steady growth, but that just shows that Road to Mouth is strong. I've been a part of that Road to Mouth. I've told people about her. When I did my festival and it came back, I actually used her song in one of the series where we were just dropping artists that we like on the festival's page. And every single time someone would drop it on the promo team, just talking about her, you would see the comments go, flame, 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 flame. Who is this girl? Bruh, she going off. That word of mouth, was super strong with that particular record. And she's making all this stuff happen while she's still in school. She's not at PV University anymore, now she's at TSU, but she is killing the game slowly, especially with a brand like she has, which we're gonna get to in a whole nother video eventually. You are set up to make some serious moves. At this point, it's only a matter of a quality song and good business on the back end. I'm telling you, she gonna blow up pretty serious at some point, she just gotta stay consistent. But that's it for this video for now. I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section below, so go ahead and put some comments in the comment section below. Just a reminder you all, I'm gonna be answering questions on Instagram every Sunday for the rest of this year, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram, answer your questions on Sundays if you got some, and other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.